Hi students, this is Dr. Kubin. I wanted to just do a little um, kind of introduction orientation to our um, Canvas site for um, health policy and health promotion course. So this is what our site looks like. This is the home page. Um, and I just kind of want to walk you through um, kind of what you're going to see on this site. I hope that you've all had a little bit of a chance to kind of look at it um, and find some of the things, but I wanted to just uh, give you some highlights. Obviously, this is the announcements page here, and I hope some of you have already kind of seen some of these things. The syllabus page, a couple of things um, important here. Obviously, this is where the syllabus is, and it's got all of the really big details about the course. So please take some time to look over that. Um, below that are by due date all of the main assignments for the course. Now obviously you guys are only going to see the assignments that apply to you. Um, I see all of the different assignments for every group, um, but since some of these are group specific, I see the assignments that um, apply to every group. So yours, your page won't be quite as busy as mine is. Um, but this is a nice place to see where everything is laid out for you. Um, in the modules section, I want to point this out to you. So if you need help with Canvas, you can go here and this has, you know, all kinds of stuff about specific to Canvas. This course resource module has got all of the criteria and um, um, information specific to like, what are we looking for? Um, in your discussion boards, what what are the requirements for doing successful discussion board um, participation and video discussion boards? We're going to be using a an application called Flipgrid to do video discussion boards, which allow you the opportunity to do some real interactive discussions with your um, classmates. So this will discuss. Um, Flipgrid and how to use Flipgrid and what the criteria are for your video discussion board. So please make sure that you read that to get familiar with Flipgrid. Um, this health promotion and policy overview PowerPoint um, really goes into some background information about what health promotion is, what health policy is, and kind of what this course is all about. So please read through that and kind of get an idea about what what to expect from this course. Um, the rest of these modules contain a lot of resources um, that are going to help you answer the questions in these discussion boards, help you find the information that you need to do the research um, to get through uh, the information in this course. One of the first assignments that you have in this course is a quiz, uh, kind of a general quiz that goes over general topics related to health promotion and health policy. And the quiz questions, if I remember correctly, are kind of um, kind of align up with the um, with the um, sorry, I just went blank in in the order that these modules are laid out. So, the first set of questions kind of relate to Healthy People 2020, and then you have some questions related to the legislative process and then triple aim. So they're kind of in this order um, to kind of help you navigate that a little bit more easily. So that's um, so hopefully that'll kind of help you as you navigate through those questions. Um, I do want to point out a lot of people, I get a lot of questions about um, accessing some of these sites. Um, so I want to just click on one of these, like people will tell me, oh, this link isn't working. So when you click on these links, a lot of times you'll get in this big gray box, you'll get this little sad face and people will email me and say, Dr. Cuban, the link isn't working. So whenever you see this sad face and it says it won't connect or whatever, do not fear. See up here we're in this smaller gray box where you have this white link. Click on that and that'll take you to the link that you're looking for. So um, just a little tip there. Um, the assignments, that, that's all I have to say really about the modules. The assignments tab on the left, 
Um, also, we'll list out all of your assignments so you can link to them there. This will tell you when you click on it, this will tell you what the assignment is about. And so it gives you kind of all of the um, details of the assignment. I do want to point out, if you go up here to the three dots up here and click on that, see where it says show rubric? Click on that and it will show you how that assignment is specifically going to be graded because this is the grading rubric that I will use to actually grade your assignment. And so if you will look at that and make sure that you are going through this as you're answering your questions or doing your assignment, um, that's going to help you to make sure that you're meeting all the criteria. Um, when you go to actually for discussions in particular, when you go to actually um, submit your discussions, do that under the discussion tab because this is where you can now go to reply and that's how you will actually submit the reply for your discussions. So in this course, um, most of the assignments are done by group. You've all been assigned to a group. And so you're going to do your, you're going to answer your discussion board questions as a group. And then individually, you will all respond to another group's posting individually. So um, oftentimes people will um, get confused. All of your groups, as you can see right here, it says um, you want to answer these questions specifically to your group's assigned family member. Can you see that? So I want to show you, people sometimes will get confused. What does that mean when you talk about my group's assigned family member? So if you will go to people, hit the people tab, and go to course groups, this is where you find your course group so that um, you see where you're, what group you're assigned to. And if you click on the three, so let's say you're in group one. If you click on the three, buttons over here and you visit your group homepage. In your group homepage, if you go to announcements, you will see group one family profile and your family profile, that's where it tells you all, there's a link there that will tell you all about your family. And this is the family. When we talk about your family, this is the family we're referring to. And so each group has a different family um, profile. So when we talk about your family and answering the questions in relation to your family. This is the family that we're talking about. Um, I think the last point that I want to make is in relation to grading. So um, you all have, when you go to grades, I talked to you about that I'm going to grade according to those rubrics. So um, after I grade, I will use those rubrics and I will put comments and feedback on the rubric. So um, when I grade it, you can go to your grade and click on the grade and the rubric will pop up and that's where you'll see my feedback. So please um, make sure that you check that to see the feedback that I give to you. If you have any questions, um, please feel free to email me. I try to get back to you within 24 hours. Sometimes it's a little bit longer than that, but not. that's pretty rare. I try to be very quickly, very quick in my feedback. Um, I love this course. So I hope that you guys will love this course as well and that you will find it to be very useful, um, beneficial in your future careers. Um, and if you have any questions, if there's anything that I did not answer for you, please feel free to email me um, and let me know. And I'm looking forward to a wonderful semester. Thanks, guys.